And hello from Lights and Gear. It's time for another flashlight review. And I have a new flashlight from a new manufacturer. This is Zanflare. And it's a rather a nice looking little 18650 flashlight, which has a couple of nice features. And we'll get to all that here in a matter of moments. So anyway, Zanflare is the name. And uh, you don't want to confuse that with that uh, pan flute guy from the 70s. I think his name was Zanfear. Used to play the pan flute, used to have ads on TV. Anyway, we won't talk about him. We'll talk about the Zen Flare flashlight. Now, the big box that comes in here, not a heck of a lot of information. It is the F1 and uh, just has the manufacturer's stamp on the bottom. So, uh, not too much here to talk about as far as the box is concerned. So, let's open her up. So, I have some nice uh, suction motion there in the box. Uh, anyway, so here's the flashlight, and it's about five inches long, and it has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has two switches, one on the side and one on the bottom. The bottom is your on-off, and the side is your mode switching. And it says right here, Zen Flare, below the little hot symbol. And um, it has a um, an XPL LED, which we'll get to in a second here, uh, emits a very smooth reflector. So the um, beam distance or the throw is pretty good on this light. Now there isn't a heck of a lot of knurling here along the along the tube. I imagine if this is wet, it could actually be a little bit slippery, but it's not too bad. It's just not terribly, terribly aggressive. But here on the tail cap, you do have some uh, some gripping here and on this uh, uh, slidable ring here on this uh, twistable ring you have uh, some as well but uh, anyway uh, that's as far as what what that is is concerned um, it um, actually let's uh, take off the base here and uh, you just have sort of a standard uh, standard hub no spring in the actual tube but there is a spring in the tail cap um, and it takes either 18650 batteries or, of course, you can use uh, rechargeable 16340s and it even fits or it even accepts my 18350s here as well. Um, I happen to like to use these in flashlights where I can sometimes, just on occasion. But anyway, it takes these as well. So it has a good um, array of uh, battery acceptances, but your standard battery will be the 18650. So slip that in, and this is uh, as you as you may have noticed, this is a flat top, and it does accept those okay. So let me get into the um, accessories here, if I might. Um, just remove the uh, little part here, the little seating area, a little cutout in the box, and voila, you have some stuff here underneath. First of all, you have the uh, instruction manual, and this is very nicely worded in English. Um, pretty good. Um, certainly not much here that you cannot understand. And as far as the lumens are concerned, let's go over that for a moment. You have moonlight, low, medium, high, and a flare mode. So anyway, we'll start at moonlight, one lumen, and then low is 50, and medium is 290. High is 590, and the flare mode is 1,240. So it does get up there to be relatively bright, as you can see. Um, and, of course, your longest run time will be in moonlight at 550 hours. That's a heck of a long time. Uh, but moonlight is also uh, pretty, pretty, uh, uh, you know, pretty low. <laughs> so anyway, um, you have your beam distance here. You have... Um, waterproof at uh, IPX8. You do also have strobe and SOS and it is uh, impact resistant to a meter and a half. And there are your accessories and so forth and so on and your battery um, battery choices. And um, it is also, which I have not mentioned, rechargeable. So as I say, we'll get to the accessories in a moment here, but um, uh, there isn't much actually written in the manual here about the uh, chargeable part of the light and it took me a few minutes to actually see where the um, USB port is and uh, it's kind of hidden um, 
So anyway, I'll get to that in a second. You do have a low voltage warning function here, and that will let you know when the battery gets down to below 3 volts. It will have a little LED light there that will flash and let you know that it's time to change the battery. And um, it does tail stand, of course, very well. And it has, um, you know, some other nice features, which we've already looked at here for a little bit. So, uh, battery installation and so forth and so on. So, anyway. Um, so, let's um, look at the other accessories, which I almost forgot to do there. Okay, here is the uh, USB, the micro USB charging cord. So, that is in here as well as an adjustable lanyard, and that's pretty typical. You also have a pocket clip, and it's right here. A pocket clip will go right on the end of the light, like this. Bango! Okay, there's your pocket clip. Now, the only thing I'll say about this is that when the pocket clip's on, it's a little bit difficult to take off the uh, the tail cap. You can do it, but it just um, this this part kind of gets in the way a little bit, and uh, you just have to uh, make sure that it goes on straight. But other than that, that's okay. Um, and you also have a, a, a belt holster here. And this is a slightly different kind of a belt holster than I've seen on many of the other lights, but it's kind of nice. It has a little zipper on it, actually. So uh, this is a zipper to put the flashlight in. And then, of course, it uh, goes on your belt. So that's kind of cool. have not seen one like that. So those are your accessories. And... Um, Again, everything uh, fits very nicely into the box. Oh yes, I want to show you the, uh, the charging portion. Um, it is right underneath this little ring here. Here's the ring, and if you turn the ring, thusly, turning the ring will unveil the USB port. There it is, right next to this little arrow that says close. So there's your USB port where of course that will plug in and as soon as it's plugged in you have a little light uh, where is the little light? actually the little light is right next to... oh the little light's right there very hard to see um, unless it's on but the little light is right there and as soon as you put the uh, the USB uh, port in there the little light will turn red so and I think you have to have the... actually you have to have the flashlight turned on and then uh, plug it in and the light will turn red and the charging will commence and when it's finished the little light will turn green um, very highly intelligent of course and um, I did run a little line through there when I was testing out the charging portion current line and it was uh, giving it a pretty good uh, current around uh, around six seven hundred MA's um, so that was uh, pretty good to know that it gives that high of a current while it's uh, doing a basic charge uh, so anyway, the battery I have already put in there, so let's click the bottom switch, and of course it comes right on in moonlight at first. It does have a mode memory, so it'll always remember where you were last time. And by pressing the mode switch, of course, is where you go up in, in, um, in modes. So let me turn the light off here, and let me turn the light off here and we are in moonlight right now so there's your moonlight mode and press the button again here we are in low and here we are in medium and here we are in high now how do you get to the flare mode you double click so if I double click it like that I get to flare mode now I know it's a little bit hard to see on the camera but um, and then if I click it again, it actually goes back down to high. So there's high, and there's flare mode. So this is theoretically over 1,200 lumens. And again, you know, a little hard to tell on the camera. If you go over to my website and see the written review of the flashlight, where I do have the outdoor beam shots, perhaps you can tell a little bit better. But, uh, and then if I click it again, it goes down to high. And then if I click it again, it just goes down to moonlight again, and then starts to, uh, you know, with, a, with each additional click, you go back up again, but and anywhere you are, <clears throat> no matter what mode you are in, you can double click, 
and go to that flare mode, go to the highest, highest mode, almost like a turbo. So you can do that from anywhere. Now I notice uh, this is a nice beam. There are a little, there are a couple of rings around the beam, uh, which I can see on the uh, just on the walls of the room here. They're not terribly noticeable. They are reasonably slight outside. Of course, you're not going to notice these at all. And um, I didn't actually uh, show within the instructions there. Um, hold on a second. Um, <clears throat> didn't actually show within the instructions. It does say uh, with the LED. I was just trying to make sure that I knew exactly. Ah, yes, here it is. It does have a Cree XPL V6 LED. Not actually certain that I've seen a V6 yet until this particular light, so um, <clears throat> Cree XPL V6. Uh, so there, maximum output of uh, 1240 lumens. So, um, anyway, um, I think uh, you can see that um, it is a pretty good light and it's uh, very reasonably priced and actually uh, the folks at uh, GearBest have a, a pretty nice sale as I am recording this video. They have a nice uh, promotion going for this particular flashlight where you can get a darn good deal on it. Now to turn it on and turn it off is as simple as, of course, turning the, pushing the, uh, the button on the back. And that's how you'll turn it on and off each time. You can also actually get sort of a tactical momentary light um, usage out of it here on the bottom when it's already turned on, if that does anything for you. Now it also has strobe and SOS. And uh, the way you get to those is while it's on, you have to press and hold the side switch and wait a couple of seconds. And then it will go into strobe. And then if you press it again, it will go into SOS. So there's SOS mode. And SOS is, as I believe, as bright as the flare mode is. So that'll certainly signal somebody if you need it to. So anyway, there's SOS, and if I click it again, it just goes right back to uh, strobe. So I have to press and hold it. And let's see, I press and hold it, and it goes back to the previous constant mode that I was in before I went over to the flashing mode. So anyway, head over to my website at lightsandgear.com where you can see the written review of this light, and you can check out the outdoor beam shots, and of course get some more information on the flashlight itself. Uh, the new light from Zen Flare. And again, there's the uh, USB charging port, which is right uh, here. You can just do this ring back up again when you're not charging the battery. And uh, twist, the, twist the ring back up. And uh, there you go. Actually, the head kind of unscrewed a bit while I did that. Right, Got to use two hands. So... Anyway, um, you can check the link below as well in the uh, description of this light to uh, see about the um, link to making, a, making your own purchase of it at uh, GearBest, which are the vendors for, the particular, for this particular flashlight. And of course, you can, uh, uh, there's also a link in my written review at lightsandgear.com as well. But anyway, thanks for looking today and checking in on the Zan Flare F1. Hope you've enjoyed the video and will like the flashlight even more. If you have any questions, of course, or comments, let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time, once again, with another review from Lights and Gear. Take care.